feel like my skin looks so good, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and today is self-maintenance day, beauty maintenance, self-care day. I cut my hair today, my lashes are going blonde, I need to tint my eyelashes again. I didn't film my haircut because it's so haphazard, like it's not the right way to cut hair. I need to go to a hairstylist, but I just never pick the time. I'm just not good at planning things out, so when I want a haircut, it's because it's driving me crazy, and yeah, I end up cutting it. So did that today. Now I'm gonna tint my eyebrows and my eyelashes and I thought I would do that with you. And then after that, I'm gonna go have a nice shower and then self tan. If you don't know me already, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm a 52 year old professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, and I'm hoping to help you guys out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have a link on Amazon, both on Canadian and American Amazon for Refecta Sills. I've got this one which is number three, and it's a light brown. And then I have this one, which is number one, and that's what I'm gonna use for my lashes. I know I'm a ginger, but I wear black mascara. I'm not a fan of how, you, you see how you can see the blonde roots coming through? And I'm feeling very pale right now. And you know, pale's not bad, but I don't feel I look my healthiest. And I just feel like when I have a bit of a self tan and a bit more color to my face, that I look healthier. And even if I don't look healthier, I feel healthier. So that's really all that matters. I'm not doing it for anybody else but myself. Yeah, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The other thing I wanna mention is I am not an esthetician. The reason I don't go and get this done is because when they put this on my eye, they put a little protector right here. They'll ask you to close your eyes and then they tint your lashes. I mustn't have a very good seal when I close my eyes because it always seeps in and it stings. So they leave the room to let it sit for however long they want to let it sit and I suffer. I just decided to do it at home because if anything happens, if it goes into my eye, I don't have to worry about it. I'm The sink is right back there and I'll wash it out really quick. Plus I can see what I'm doing and I can see when it gets too close, so I'm very cautious, and you'll see when I apply it. I always put too much in. <laughs> if I show you, I can't see, let me see. I just put a little squirt in, like that. It's too much, but because I'm doing this on my own, I'm actually saving myself a lot of money. I'm not worried about it too much. I kind of break up the product a little bit first. Refectasil has its own developer. When I went to the professional store the other day, they gave me this one and I really liked it. The reason she gave that to me, they're both 10 volume by the way, but the reason she gave that to me was because she said it was more creamy and I agree, it is more creamy. I just add it in and keep adding until I get the consistency that I want. You want it kind of to be like icing on a cake. Well, between the icing and the cake batter. That's the best way I can describe it. So this is too thick. That's gonna give me a hard time laying that on my lashes. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, little bits at a time, little squirts. Really it should be equal parts. So whatever that looks like to you. Has anyone tinted their own eyebrows or eyelashes at home? I hear a lot of people, my niece actually, she uses the, um, is it the beard tint that she finds at the drugstore? I can't remember. So it's getting better, but I still find that a little too thick. I tint my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So they're two different colors. I couldn't do this on my brows. There, that to me looks better. It's much smoother and there's no clumps. Again, I'm not an esthetician, so forgive me for my technical terms or lack of. I don't know, oh, am I getting a zit? I'm getting a zit on my eyelid? What the heck? For whatever reason, I don't know why, I curl my lashes before I tint them. And I do that because it makes me feel like it puts my lashes further up away from my eyeball. And it's so funny because as soon as I put the tint on, it just weighs it back down anyway. My lips are dry. I'm trying to drink more water. As I drink my coffee. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up. So I take the wood stick and I go directly from there because I do want to saturate the lashes. And you can see it does a great job. If this were too thick, you would it would be hard to get it off the wood stick. and I don't generally do my bottom lashes. I don't know why, I'm not used to that, and when I wash my face, I like seeing clean under eyes for some reason. 
if I've tinted my lashes in the past on the bottom, it makes me feel dirty when I wash my face. I'm just not used to it. It's silly and some may go on it, but I try not to. And then I'm just pushing it right into the root. Cause that's where it really bothers me. And I have a very few amount of hairs right there. Ooh, I got it in my eye. Oh, see, almost. Yay, <laughs> that was close. But now see, if somebody else had done that, I don't have any control over it if somebody else is doing it. And let's take a look right under. You see how clean that is? I know that's a nasty look. I'm really not worried about that. I'd just rather have my lashes tinted and that'll come off. I try not to do a whole lot when this is happening. When this is sitting, I don't go and cook a meal or anything. I don't wanna forget that this is on, rub my eyes, or you know, risk it moving into my eyeball. Do you know that I haven't bought anything from the Sephora sale yet? I have a cart full, partly because I make videos. I want to try everything for you guys, but I don't really know what to get. A few companies do send me some PR boxes, very rare though. And you know, it's my own money that I'm spending. So I have to be smart with it, even though it takes spending money to make money those little hairs on the inside. Does anybody have hair on the inside? Oh, did I get some? I hit some lashes, yay. Does anyone notice if you have an animal that when it gets darker outside, they wanna eat earlier? My dogs are driving me crazy an hour before they normally eat. Is that them just trying to be the boss of me or do you think the fact that it's getting dark sooner is affecting them? Odd question in a makeup video, but that's what I'm dealing with. The color that I'm putting on isn't like a permanent color, so there's no ammonia in it. Yeah, there's peroxide, but there's no ammonia. So never use a permanent color on your eyes. You could for your brows, and I have done for my brows, but don't ever do that for your eyes. And I'm not suggesting you do this at all, actually. I just thought it might be interesting for you to see. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this out, and then I'm gonna, um, gonna, oh, I just blinked. Yeah, this is why you don't wanna do too much. Always be sure to have your Q-tips handy, just in case. Yeah, good. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and I will mix up my brow color. Hmm, can you guys see better without the big light on? I can't see as well though. Oh, I'm missing a color, hold on. I'm so disorganized. I thought, I know I did. What does that say? Doesn't that look like the gray? I have so many tubes open. Why would there be white writing on this light gray packaging? Okay, I'm just going for it. This is the gray, I know it is. Then I'm gonna use the three, which is this color. The reason I'm using the three and the one together is because this is the light brown, but I find it quite warm. Even with my ginger, I find it pretty warm. And this one will counteract. So this is an ash and this is a warm. A little bit of the mysterious color, a little squeeze. People who make this packaging are not thinking. You should be able to see, even with that ash color, it looks quite warm. That's not the color it's gonna turn out. So, just a little bit like that. If you're an esthetician, I respect you. I know it takes a lot of education to be an esthetician and to work with skin, and I would never attempt to do this on anybody else because I just don't know enough. Estheticians are very well trained. I hope you can see that mixing a little bit more of that one just tamed that warmth down a little bit. Part of the reason why I don't want this too warm, can you see that I have a little bit of pink there? That is from leftover microblading. So I already have warmth on my skin and if I have really warm eyebrows, I'm in trouble. I'm just slapping this on right now and then I'm gonna clean it up with some Q-tips. I will set my timer and um, go rinse my eyelashes off. Far too much, you don't need that. I kind of work it in just to make sure it gets underneath. My husband is at a boxing match tonight. 
Our realtor, who we became friends with, we've moved so many times, is in a boxing match. I think they're raising money for cancer, I believe. I think that's so cool. He's not young, like he's not old. So my husband said, maybe I should do it next year. First of all, he'd probably kick butt, but I'd like him not to be injured. Fighting in front of all the people, I think there's gonna be 900 people there tonight, but he's gonna have a ton of supporters there. His name's Trevor, and he hasn't drank. He's been training all this time. He's in great shape, but he's not a boxer. I thought that was so cool. I don't even need to be this particular because it does rinse off. And the reason why I'm doing this actually before I self tan is because I've self tanned before and then the tint mixed with my self tan goes funny. It actually does look quite orange. I'm not sure it would do that now if I, now that I'm mixing the two colors, but I don't want to risk it. When I wash my eyelashes, I'm going to take a cotton pad and I'm going to bend my head over the sink, soak my cotton pad, and then I go from bottom and move up. So nothing is ever gonna go towards my eye, if that makes sense. So it's gonna go upwards and it's gonna remove the product that way, out and down the sink. So I'll be right back. Lashes are tinted. So much better, I look ridiculous. So the eyebrows don't take that long. I don't rinse this out right away, just in case I test them and it's not dark enough. It hasn't been that long, but let me test it. Aha. Yeah. Good. I have a little bit of Missler water just to make sure it's all cleaned off. It makes penciling in my brows and shaping them so much easier when I start off with a little bit of color. This was my second one, so it may need a bit more time but I don't think so. Sometimes I can tell on the camera better than when I'm looking in the mirror. No, I think that's good. And this is, again, it's just Missler water and that's clearing right up. Did you see my Sephora recommendations? I realized doing that, I didn't go through mascaras. I didn't go through, no, it was some mascaras. Was there any, oh, hair tools? I didn't go through hair tools, hair products. I feel better. Should I shave my face too? Yeah, maybe I should shave my face. I think I will. Watch this, I'm gonna put the Lumify in my eyes. I don't think I have a link for this. Oh, why can't I get it open? It's childproof. I used this the other day. I forget about it sometimes because, I don't know, I just forget about it. But lately, I've been noticing my eyes are a little bit, I don't know, they almost look, they're not as sharp looking. And wait until you look, like I can see it working. Do you see? Watch, I'm gonna curl my lash now. Yay, no makeup. Now that that's done, I feel like I can go out without makeup and just have a bit more confidence because it has happened so many times in my life where I go out and I go out often without my makeup, but people will say, oh, are you okay? Oh, you're tired, you, you don't feel good? No, it's just my eyes. <laughs> It even makes it look bigger to me. I'm gonna fix this one. Just one drop. And I do think I'm gonna shave my face actually. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Derma Flash. I need to go wash my face. I'll often just use these. I get them at Sally's and I can get them on Amazon as well. I can't remember the name of them, but I have them in my store. All right, this is the Derma Flash. Comes with your blades. And then you just slide it in like this. Okay, clicks, and there you go, you've got a new razor. I have clean, dry skin. Let me take this off, because I like to get nice and close. Powered by 14K Sonic Vibrations. Instantly removes dead skin cells, build up debris, and peach fuzz with professional grade Sonic dermaplaning edges. For safety, efficacy, and hygiene, always use a new edge. You can use this once a week. Can you see, there's three dots here, gentle, Stronger. I'm gonna do the lower speed. Okay, so I take it. Just like that. I can see the peach fuzz. <laughs> I can see it floating around.
Yeah, going up gives me a closer shave. Smooth. Guys, if you haven't heard this already, doing this will make your foundation go on so much better. It exfoliates your skin and allows your skincare products to penetrate through. If you add foundation to really dry, scaly skin, you're gonna look cakey, right? It's not gonna look good. It's not gonna mesh in with your skin. It's the same with hair. If you have peach fuzz all over the place, especially as we get older, it seems to kind of grow more. Well, some people. It makes such a difference when it comes to your foundation. The glowiness of your skin, it exfoliates and your hair does not grow back thicker. It just doesn't. It's a completely different kind of hair than the hair on your head. It's called vellus hair. I'm very careful around here. Look at that. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, can you see that? Hold on. You see? That is so satisfying. This is so much better than those little ones. I know, you know, it's a bit of an investment, but I haven't had that good of a result in a while. Oh my gosh, my neck was crazy. Can you see? Like even skin, look at that. It's like the best spa treatment ever. And I am using a very gentle touch. So I have something else to tell you guys, and it's definitely an oversharing moment, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I had a breast lift back in 2009. I was a D, but a very droopy, flat as a pancake D. I have battled my weight all of my life, up and down. I had two kids, big babies, breastfed, and I have loose skin. Like, you wouldn't know it so much from my face, but if you were to see my arms and my legs, they're pretty saggy. So when I had that done, I was newly with my husband. We weren't even married yet. We were getting married in at the end of December in 2009 and I didn't have confidence when I was with him even though I knew he loved me I just didn't have confidence I was feeling very disfigured and uh, embarrassed and you know he was gonna be my new husband so we decided together that I was gonna do that for my own happiness when I did it they told me that I would have to get it redone again partly because you know I'm getting older and things happen, skin's drooping, but also the product can degrade and we don't want that, right? So that was in 2009. It's now been 14 years. Everything's okay, but I've been talking about it for a while that I wanted to get it redone again, just for safety's sake. And I've lost a little bit of weight this summer and I'm finding that like, they're getting back to the way they were before. Let me stop doing this because I can't keep track of what I'm saying. In 2009, I had a breast lift and augmentation. The reason I had the augmentation, the breast implant put in, was because I wanted to stay a D. Because my body type is a stronger body type, though people started calling me fat in grade one, and I wasn't fat. Looking back at those photos, like how mean they were, but when I consulted with a surgeon, we both agreed that a large C or a D suited my body type. Like it gave me a good balance. So in order to keep my D a D, I had to have an implant because I just had so much loose skin. I'm not sure how much weight I lost because I don't weigh myself. Me and weight and food have a bad relationship. So I stopped weighing myself a long time ago. I go by my clothing and the only time I weigh myself is if I'm at a doctor's office and they make me. And even then I don't look. Since it's been 14 years and I've lost weight, yeah, they're looking like they did before. Not as bad. Anyway, so I am gonna film it. And I share a lot with you guys anyways. And the reason I share is because I wanna help women. It's not because I want the attention. I sure as heck don't want the attention when it comes to this area of my body. But I asked him when I went in for my consultation a few weeks ago if he would wanna make a deal and me provide him with some content. I would be able to share with you guys my experience and take a little bit of the price off and he agreed. I still have to pay for it and I'm sharing with all you guys. So I know I'm opening myself up to potential negative opinions, but I don't think we should be ashamed of anything. 
We do what we do to make ourselves feel happy. And at this point, I'm doing it for two reasons, health and confidence. I just don't think that anybody should judge anybody. That's all. So I'm hoping by me sharing, it will help people out. It will help everybody understand the process. And if you're in the local area where I am, I'm in Ottawa, Canada. I do have a really good surgeon. The same surgeon that did it back in 2009 is doing it again. I had a great experience with him. I know I'll have a great experience again. He's known for doing a good job. He has over 20 years experience now. And my surgeries on November 8th, it wasn't gonna be until February and they got me in sooner. There was a cancellation. So I'm very excited. I'm also nervous. It's coming up so fast. And I did tell all of my family what I was doing. I just didn't want them to have a video pop up and then go, what the heck is she sharing now? So I did let everybody know, my kids know. I asked my daughters their opinion. My husband knows I'm sharing. He's not the most comfortable with it, but I know that most of the people that watch me are women. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I think I'm good, guys. Wait, should I go down my nose? I'm just going down my nose because it's exfoliating, not because I have hair. My mom and dad aren't so thrilled about what I'm doing. She just said the other day that we come from an age where you didn't share, that you had more privacy, and I understand that completely, but I do share the information in hopes to help. And she said to me, it's your body, it's your decision. So they're supportive. Smooth as a baby's bottom. I'm gonna put the serum on that comes with it. It's the act of cocooning, cocooning. So now that we have the agreement, I said I really wanna film the consultation because that's a huge part of it, right? I am gonna ask him all the questions. So if you have any questions, this is on Tuesday, by the way, I better get this up tomorrow. One thing I did find out in my original consultation, over the years, there's been better technology. So I'm getting one that is better, which that makes me feel good. I feel like my skin looks so good, guys. This is my new haircut. I have to style it. They layered the heck out of it. I just can't, I'm not meant to have long hair. I'm gonna leave a link for the products that I use today in the description box. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it gives me a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything if you're gonna buy it anyways. If you don't use it, no problem. Thank you for being here. Go check out my last video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Share with all your friends. Comment below and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Do you want up too? Come here. Hi. Show yourself the- ah! Don't look at my clean face.